All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashan, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashan, Rechah, Gorash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone, citations to all the Ikeen, which is word, with true sincerity and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world and he calls God and Jehovah. Ba'ashan is in the name. Yahweh Shai is the son's name of the world and he calls Jesus. And Rechah, Gorash is the Holy Spirit. As always, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you are the Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird, the scattered Israelite foreigners scattered amongst other nations, whose outer appearance it may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage through the line of their fathers go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the Israelites, no matter what your outer appearance may seem to be. And as always, we're the brothers from the Great Millstone Branch here in Chicago. I'm the brother Tazawar. And I'm the brother Yadaya. And we're back after another lesson. And Lord willing, this uh, edifying and comforting day. The title of the lesson is, um, it's going to be casting your care upon the Lord because the Lord will take care of us. You see, and um, hey, just as the title says, hey, we can't let nothing um, get us out of, get up, knock us off our focus. Not, you know, uh, whatever condition you're in or whatever you're going through, just remember, hey, cast that care upon the Lord. You see, it's going to tell you um, who shall harm you if you be followers of that which is good. As long as we're serving the Lord, the Lord is going to take care of us. You know? This first Peter 5 and 6 says, Humble yourself therefore under the mighty hand of Yahweh, that he may exalt you in due time. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Yep, and that care goes into anxiousness, anxiety, you know. So whatever you're going through or whatever, it, you know, is irking you or got you uneasy, hey, if you if it's without your if it's uh without your reach, man, you just gotta cast upon the Lord and let the Lord deal. Scriptures talk about being patient in tribulation. You see? Got yeah, that Psalms 37. It's uh, Psalms 37 and 1. Right, right. Is it because he cared for you? Right. What do we, hey, we're ministering this word, man? You know, the Lord, hey, he sees the sacrifice and he's delighting us. So he's going to take care of us. The scriptures talk about um, how, how the Lord, I believe, is in the book of 1 John. How it says, um, he hears of our petitions. A petition is something that you ask for, right? Going to the Gospels, yeah, I wish I he said, uh, "What um, father among you, basically, uh, if, a, if a son asks for a, 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 a for food, give him, give him a rock or a serpent?" <laughs> and the Lord said, "If you then being evil, know how to give good gifts, how much more the heavenly Father, you know, and the Lord knows the things that we need." says and this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he hear of us right confidence is with faith come with fidel fidelity faith right so as long as we have faith the lord is going to do this it says we know if he hear of us a majority of the people on the planet earth the lord not even listening to their prayers yep. let alone they call on the right name you know but uh, we actually have a, a power in the heavens that's listening to the things that we ask him for. That's right. And the Lord, he going to deal. He's going to give every needful thing in due season. Mm -hmm. So just at the right appointed time, according to the Lord, that's when he's going to deal. Yeah. But he got us. Uh, 1 John 5 and 15. It says, and if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. So we know that the Lord is listening to our prayers. We tell you that the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Um, but he hears our prayers, roughly paraphrasing. You know? So the things that we ask the Lord for, and he hears them, and if it be according to his will, and it's profitable and beneficial for us at that time, he will deliver. That's well. So you can't worry about how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to do that, how this going to happen. And hey, continue to deal. Hey, pray. And praying goes into begging. That nah, that was that's the point. I got to say nah, I got that Psalms 37 though. Start one. Yeah, yep. Okay. It's a uh, Psalms 37 and one, a Psalm of David. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. You look at that word fret. God, I'm looking up a blue letter. Okay. Well, <clears throat> got it right here. Is the word for fret. 
Up it says to be hot, furious, burn, become angry, be kindled. To burn, kindle anger. Mm -hmm. To heat oneself in vexation. Mm -hmm. Right. So the scripture tells us to not do that, man. You get anxious, you get worried, how I'm going to do this, then you move in haste, and you end up doing something, you mess up. The scripture tells us to fret not thyself because of that, right? Mm -hmm. Keep going. Yep. And it's a Hebrew word, hell, wah. But it says, uh, fret not thyself. So like Psalms 37 and 1. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Mm -hmm. And all the wicked that prosper in this world, hey, it says the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. That's right. So these people seem like they up and they doing better and they got all these things, but guess what? They're, hey, they're on borrowed time. Mm -hmm. Their time's gonna get cut short. That's right. It says, verse 3, Psalms 37 and 3, Trust in the Lord and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Right, it's a precept in Sirach. They tell you, um, marvel not the works of sinners, but um, abide in thy labor. Mm -hmm. Right, and it's the same thing here. You know, these people doing their thing, but the scriptures exhort us to, hey, continue believing, continue preaching, continue ministering this word. That's right. Right? It says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. And the Lord's going to give us everything we want as long as we put him first. That's right. See? So we don't have to fret or go out the way or feel like it, and stuff ain't happening in this town. All we got to do is serve the Lord, and the Lord's going to give us all those things that we want. Mm -hmm. And everything that we need. You know? It says, Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy, thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. Yep. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way because of the man who bringeth wicked devices. Right, to I, believe, pass. I believe it's in Psalms. It says, um, as a maiden uh, waited for a um, husband. Uh, I believe it's another place it says a dog wait for his master. Roughly paraphrasing, that's how we're to wait on the Lord. That's right. You see, and the Lord will provide. Mm -hmm. it says, for evildoers shall be cut off, mm -hmm. but those that wait upon the Lord shall inherit the earth. Yep, the people of this world they're gonna lose. God, but those that wait upon the Lord, trust in the Lord's plan, and, and hold themselves diligently in the fear of the Lord, the scripture says we're gonna inherit the earth. Up it says, continuing on, uh, verse 10. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently, diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. Mm -hmm. But the meek shall inherit the earth. Yep, and the meek is the lowly, the, 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 um, the uh, ones on the bottom. Mm -hmm. You know, it's on the ground. It's good to see that a broken and contrite heart is what the Lord is uh, delighted in. That's right. You see? Yeah, so that was pretty much it now. This is small. Yeah, I'm gonna jump down to verse 25. This uh Psalms 37 25. I have been young and now I'm old. Right. Yet have I not seen a righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Yep. So the, mm -hmm. got the Lord go deal with you, man, at the end of the day. I mean the Lord is dealing with you now. Can't make that up. Mm -hmm. The Lord is dealing, man. Because at the end of the day, as I'm I got that uh Matthew. Ain't none of that worry and go do nothing, man. The Lord's will is going to be done at the end of the day. You just got to hope and pray as the scriptures say, above all, pray to the Lord, direct thy way in truth, man. That's right. You still got this truth. You still calling on the Lord. You still can beg on the Lord. Then you should be in the, very happy because a dude with $200 million, that nigga finna be destroyed as we just read. The nigga with 200 mansions and motherfucking 37 supercars and he crashed 52 of them, that nigga still go die. Miserable. Please. Yep. On, on, he, he on all type of uh, drugs and shit, pharmaceuticals, witchcraft, trying to escape the reality he in. You trying to get to his reality, man. It don't even make sense. This, but this is uh, Matthew 6 and 25. It says, therefore. Let's take no thought. Yeah, let's take no thought. Damn, let's start off a little bit. Uh, is it? Well, that's where it started. No, nah, no, nah, let's start. Uh, like the, I think the point is twenty six. Whatever spirit say, whatever spirit says. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna start at twenty one because that, that is a good point. It's Matthew six, 
and no, 19. It says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust do of corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust do of corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Mm -hmm. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So if your treasure and your heart is your mind. So if your treasure is on earthly things, your your, your heart, your mind is going to be on earthly things because you treasure the things that are on this earth. Now, there's nothing wrong with, you know, having you know, whatever you fuck you got to take care of. The Lord gives you some extra. Take it. Shit, be grateful. But just know that ain't where your man at. If that shit is gone, if the Lord take that away from you, you not smoke because you still got the truth. That's that's really the true treasures, man. That's above treasure. Treasure ain't even the word to use for this truth, man. But it says the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. So you got to have your eyes on the prize, man. The end goal is that salvation and enduring in this truth. It says, but if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve Yahweh and Mammon, and this Mammon goes to money, but you can't serve the Lord and anything else. Because at the end of the day, serving the Lord, you have everything. As we read, you got your food, you might have a whip, or if you ain't got a whip, you, you, you're going to have a job. You're going to have a, a provisions. You're going to be provided for. The Lord is going to deal with you, man. Everything else is, if it comes, everything else is extra. Like the other Yaki said, the Lord gave you a bone. Throw a dog a bone, shit. You, you, the Lord throw a lot of bones, man. Take that. Take that. It's about <laughs> daily bread. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Verse twenty-five. It says, "Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, nor, nor yet for your body what ye shall put in. It's like it put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body more?" like in the body than raiment which is clothes behold the fowls of the air for they sow not neither do they reap so the fowls of the air the birds ain't putting in no work mm -hmm. they ain't harvesting they ain't putting planting no seeds and nothing but what punching that fire right punching and clocking in and shit oh shit i'm late for work no nah, they ain't gotta do that well they don't do that it says for they sow not neither do they reap nor gather into barns yet your heavenly father feed them are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? So he said, like, what? What is you thinking about? Anything go add to it? Like, yeah, let me let me think hard as hell for twenty five hours. Of how I can be six three when I'm six feet tall? It ain't gonna happen, man. It's a waste of your time. It says, and why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil or not, neither do they spin. And yet I sense you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if the Most High so clothe the, gra the grass of the field, which, to which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye little of faith? So the Lord is like, he's going to clothe you either way, man. The Lord is going to deal with you. It says, therefore, take no thought, saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or wherever thou shall we be clothed for after the it's like for after all these things do the Gentiles seek. And they talk about that in Sirach, how, you know, even the man on the throne to the man, to the poor man, they got these certain thoughts that go through their head that keep them up at night and think about the future and et cetera, et cetera. Says for your heavenly father, know that you need of these things, uh, all these things. So, Lord, I already know. But what did he say? But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem our Shai and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. So, the Lord is saying, Seek the kingdom, and that's what we're doing. Seeking the kingdom of the Lord and everything that you think is worth anything, you go get that and then some. The scriptures talk about how eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, man. The Lord has things prepared, and the Lord has things prepared on this side, man. Mm -hmm. 
You just got to uh, cast your care into him and not worry and give in to the flesh and worry about what the hell, what if this happened, what if that happened? Well, shit, if it happened, the Lord's still dealing with you, Lord willing. That's right. You got anything else? No, that ain't so a low wellness was an edifying, comforting, uplifting lesson called Halayim Blah. Yeah, how will Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rechakodash? The one to say, elders and the apostles of the great millstone, which taught us this truth. Salutations taught that I can push the word with two charity with charity. Shalom, Bragatham, Wakwam, Yasharala, and Ababa Ball. Ababa Ball. Wow. Yasharala. Shalom.